Hey guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Sam. I'm a licensed cosmetologist. And in today's video, I'm gonna share with you how to cut a blunt cut. It doesn't really necessarily matter on the length, whether you wanna go shoulder length like my hair, collarbone, like a lob length, or really short chin length bob. It's all the same, it just kinda of depends on how high you cut the hair up. But the technique and the actual haircut itself is all one and the same. Now, when you are doing a haircut like this, you can't be pulling the hair all to the front. You have to cut it from the back. So it is really difficult to do on yourself. So if you are looking to do this haircut on yourself, I highly suggest you get somebody to help you, have them sit down and watch this tutorial with you, and then have them do it on you instead of trying to do it yourself. Even me as a professional, this is one of the most popular haircuts I get requested. I do it all the time. And even still, I would not attempt to do it on myself. And any hairstylists out there who are gonna hate on me for teaching people how to cut their hair at home, I respect your opinion, but I feel as though right now people are really desperate. Who knows when we're gonna be able to get back into the salon, so they're going to be doing their hair themselves at home. So I'd rather show them the correct way to do it than have them just completely botch it and try to figure it out on their own. So when you have the option of going to a professional, I always suggest doing that, but in times like this when that's not an option I'm going to show you how you can do it the proper way at home so what you're going to need to do this is some clips of course any kind of clips will do doesn't really matter you're going to need a comb and then you're going to need shears I really 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 highly suggest getting a pair of shears that are meant for cutting hair and not just using scissors that you have laying around your house like kitchen shears or paper scissors. Hair cutting shears have a really sharp blade so it's gonna be able to actually cut through the hair and create a nice clean cut without causing any damage to the hair or just like folding the hair when you go to cut it. They don't need to be super expensive. You can get a pair from Amazon or at the drugstore, Walmart, Target. I'll put a link in the description for some affordable hair shears in case you don't already have some. Now the proper way to hold your shears, just for reference, you wanna hold them up like this where the little tail is on the top you wanna stick your thumb through the bottom hole and then your ring finger through the top hole. Your pinky is gonna rest on that little tail and then your middle and index finger are gonna rest on top of the shears. And you're gonna open and close like this. I have my makeshift tripod here because I don't have a proper mannequin stand. So bear with me. So we're gonna start this haircut off on wet hair. Hair's a lot easier to cut through when it's wet. However, keep in mind that once the hair dries, it is going to bounce up and fluff up a little bit. So wherever you want the hair to fall once it's dry, cut a little bit lower than that if you're cutting on wet hair. So I'm gonna start by sectioning the hair off work off of whatever part you normally wear. If you always part your hair to the left, then work off of that left part. If you like to flip it around and you wear different parts on different days, part it down the middle so that way, no matter what, it will be even on all sides. For the sake of the tutorial, I'm just gonna part down the middle. That's where this mannequin's natural part kind of goes anyway. So there we go, middle part. Then from there, I'm gonna go up to that part that we just created behind the ear over here. I'm gonna connect up from the middle part down to the ear, or right behind the ear, I should say, like so. So do the same thing on the other side. Now from here, we're gonna start with the back section. So I'm gonna go across the back in a horizontal line. I'm gonna try to keep that line as straight and neat as possible, which is hard to do with this head bobbing around. So try to keep that parting as clean and straight as possible. You wanna make sure that every section that you are doing is relatively thin. Like you should be able to see through that hair. So you see how you can see through it, you can see the back of her neck. If the piece of hair is too thick, not only is your cut not gonna be clean, but it's gonna be a mess and it's gonna be all over the place. In order to ensure that everything is nice and blunt and that it's cut all at the exact same length, you need 
to work within section so you can really see what you're doing. Now, this is really, really important, especially if you want that really crisp, clean, blunt line in the back. You want to have the person tilt their head forward. If they had their head tilted back and I cut this hair, anytime they move their head around, the line isn't going to be blunt and you're gonna see little pieces of hair sticking out underneath. That doesn't look good. We want this to be nice and clean and sharp. Depending on how long you want it to be, where you want it to fall, like I said, you can make this haircut super, super short, or you can make it a little bit longer. It doesn't matter the length, that's totally up to you. The whole point is just the bluntness. So I'm gonna come to, I'm just gonna cut like that much off. Now, obviously this is not a real person. She does not have a body. So I have to use my fingers, but let's pretend I'm doing this on a real person with a back. I would hold my comb in my non-dominant hand, comb down and hold the hair right there against their back. And then with my dominant hand, I would go right underneath that comb and I would just cut a clean straight across line. I have to use my fingers though, cause she don't got a back and make sure that the line you're cutting is straight. Also make sure that the person whose hair you're cutting, they are sitting straight, that they don't have their legs crossed or anything like that, that their body's not tilted or shifted any which way. You want them to sit perfectly upright, straight, and then just tilt their neck straight down. Because if they're leaning any which way, then when they go to sit upright, their haircut might be crooked. Once you're done cutting that first piece, you're gonna move on to the next section. Same thing, you're just gonna go across in a horizontal line, but you wanna really make sure that this section of hair is nice and thin. So that way you can really see through that hair. Again, you still want them to have their head tilted down. You're gonna comb that hair down and you should be able to see through that section and be able to see that first section that you cut behind it. That's how you know where you need to cut this next section. So same thing, you're gonna take your comb in your left hand, comb it down, use their back as a flat surface and just cut right at that point where you can see your guide. And then we're gonna just do the exact same thing. Let down another thin section of hair. Do not rush through this and just guess where you're cutting. Make sure that your sections are nice and thin so that you can see through them and you can still see your guide every time you're cutting. And as you're working along, if the hair is starting to get dry, make sure that you wet it down again. Another thing I need to point out too is I'm sitting down behind the head. I'm not moving around. As I'm working over by the ears, I'm not moving my body at all and coming down this way. I am staying exactly where I am in one position and I'm pulling all of the hair towards me as I'm cutting it. That's how you're gonna ensure that it all stays the same length. If I'm moving my body around, then it might start to get a little bit shorter towards the face. Once you get like a third of the way up the head, then you can have the person bring their head upright. You really just need them to lean forward for all of the hair underneath. Now that I have the head upright, I still obviously don't have a back to press up against, but I can brush the hair straight down and I don't have to use my fingers now. I can just use the comb to hold everything in place. And again, you can see my guide right there. So all of this is what I'm cutting. So I actually just did another tutorial where I showed you guys how to cut long layers. I will put the link to that in the description if you wanna go check that out. So the top layer of this hair is not as long as this longest length, it doesn't reach. So I don't have anything else left to cut now. Even if you have layers in your hair, you can still have a blunt cut as long as all of your longest length is cut nice and blunt. So once we have the back cut to the length that we want, we're gonna move on to the front. Because the front of our hair is just naturally not as dense, we don't have as much 
hair as we do in the back. This tends to be finer, so sometimes you can just let that down and you can just cut it all at once. If the hair's thicker, then of course you wanna go through and you want to do those same thin horizontal partings like we did in the back, exact same thing. This hair, especially the ends over here, it's so fine and wispy, so I can just cut that in one shot. So I'm gonna try to turn it a little bit so that you guys can see. So I'm just gonna comb this down and you see where this hair in the back is cut all nice and short. I'm just gonna follow that same line right across the side. So I'm just gonna comb this down. And then just the same exact thing on the other side. Comb down. And then check the front, make sure that everything is all the same length, which this is. And there you go. All one length, super blunt cut. It's a pretty easy and straightforward cut to do, but you can very easily mess it up as well. So the main things, like I said, clean sectioning, cutting really nice thin see-through pieces at a time, making sure that you can see your guide when you're cutting, and having the person tilt their head down for all of that hair at the bottom in the back. So I hope that this video was helpful for you guys and you learned something. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. I would appreciate it, it helps my channel out a lot. I am going to try during this crazy quarantine time to get as much like DIY at home hair content up as possible. So if you're interested in that kind of content, make sure you're subscribed, hit the bell notification so you get notified every time I upload and hopefully I'll see you in my next video. Bye.